another Saturday at my home park. And uh, there's a group of people that rented out the DC Circle area of the park for a little while. And that consists of American Thunder, Justice League, Mr. Freeze, Long Plume, and Shazam. So those rides are open early, but since I hear from their event or whatever, I'm obviously not able to go into the park just yet. But that doesn't concern me anyways. I'm going to the Eagle first thing, and then I'll be going down to Boston. We're going down to Freeze and Justice League after that. So uh, 11 to 8 today, so the park's open an extra hour than what I was normally used to. And they'll give me more time to get some rides in. And also Ryan and Ellis will be joining us today. And I cannot wait to get Ellis' thoughts on Hollywood Nights since uh, last time I saw him, he had been to that event. So we're gonna have a good day and uh, see what rides we get on. Just got first train of the day on Screaming Eagle. Yellow train on Boston on the brakes. And it looks like we got purple trains. So I've not ridden purple trains since 2021. So can't wait to see how this one runs after we're not riding it for almost two years. I found out that they're gonna be putting a purple train on the transfer track. So it looks like we'll be yellow. And we got Ryan here, what's up? Hi. You got your, don't have your glasses on for whatever reason. Oh, I don't. It's fine. I'm wiping my eyes of sweat. Yep. It's and a hot one today. Big. Very hot, for sure. Very hot and very humid. Also, uh, you told me you got a Zen ride on this last time you were here. I did. It was the uh, first, uh, I think, trimless, first ever Zen ride on it, period. Yeah. It also happened to be trimless for you. So how was it? Did you notice the difference in the second half between normal and being the only one on the train? Not really, because it crawled into the brakes so slow. Yep. yep. So yeah, we got to wait a little while so this train gets transferred off. So it looks like there's no way we're getting a trimless ride, at least not this morning. But yeah, it'd be cool to have gotten one. Oh, well, maybe next time. Two rides on Boston. They were actually the first two trains of the day because no one was in line for the front row on our second ride, so we rode twice. What'd you think? Oh, I loved it. It was great. Um, tense. Got Very good tense. air time. Yeah. And normally the left side smoother. I found the right side to be smooth today, which I personally was not expecting. You said you thought the left side was smoother? I thought smoother? the left side was smoother, but it had like that weird jackhammering thing after that airtime hill um, in, in the second half. Yeah, I mean, it was a little odd. But overall, I was really impressed by it. Now we're gonna go down towards uh, Just Sleep, which uh, last time we were here, you said the first screen wasn't working. First screen wasn't working, so I couldn't max it. Well, let's hope that changes today, because I was here on Wednesday and everything was working properly. So we're gonna see how we can do on it. And uh, I don't know what my goal is for today, honestly, because uh, this might be the last time I ride it before I go into Six Flags Great Adventure in a couple weeks. So if that's the case, I'll uh, see how many more I can get on. And Freeze, they have two trains going on, because they're running them so consistently now. Like, oh my gosh, they're crazy. So yeah, after we ride Just Like, we'll do uh, Mr. Freeze. But yeah, let's just see if we can both max it. Literally getting a backed off of this, got stuck. Uh, I think it was, uh, yeah, Ryan and I, we got stuck on third screen. Fourth screen. First time getting a backed off of this, what do you think? <laughs> that was funny. Very funny. As we were saying, I uh, maxed it out. Uh, basically, the vehicle started moving away from the third screen, and I was like 961,000, mind you. And so we started the fourth screen, I maxed it out, and then literally the screen just shut off. Like, what was that weird thing we were seeing? I forgot, it's, it was like a Windows screen. There was like, there was like a, so black screen with like a red and yellow square moving It around. was bizarre. It was so strange. And we're like, and then our blaster scores were all sorts of screwed up. Like mine said 13 on it. Like I had what? 9,115. 9, <laughs> what? How has that ever happened before? Like. Oh boy, that is a weird one. I beat you after it broke though. Shut up! <laughs> Who maxed it here before it broke? Let's be real here. Oh, come on. I had, I had 729. Yeah, was, that was I was on pace to do that so yeah. good. But nope, it just ruined it. Yeah. And uh, yeah, literally as soon as we uh, across the loading area, the whole power of the ride just shut off and it was our scoreboards turned off and our vehicle stopped. Was, I was like, okay, we're definitely getting evac. So we just got evac. Four broken rides on that thing in a row. Yeah, because Ryan didn't have great luck maxing it last time. He never maxed it one day, he just lost again. So, yeah, this thing will be down for a while. So, we're going to ride uh, Mr. Freeze and uh, check back in this thing later because that was just a mess right there. Both of us just did two rides on Mr. Freeze. I did twice in the front since so there was no line for it. And you did once in the front, once in the second and back. What'd yeah. you think? Second and back was absolutely nuts. I don't know what was wrong with that thing, but going up the inverted top hat after the launch, oh! just yep. like slammed in my side. You were on side A for that ride, which side A in the back normally isn't as good it's as the front of side A. Holy cow, it was good today. Yeah, that must have been a, I don't know if it was a weird one-off ride or what the deal was, but yeah, that was really impressive. My two rides in front were really good, but I honestly thought side B on Wednesday might've been a little more intense than that, honestly. I don't know though. That was uh, really uh, interesting. And I don't think Justice League is back open, but it's nothing if we gotta go try it again, because what was that ride we just, well, it wasn't even a complete ride. No, it wasn't. It was a Little, it was scuffed, so we gotta try that again. But, uh, Freeze, 
Awesome as usual. of Red Train on American Thunder. A lot of the hills did deliver airtime, but there were some that did not deliver. So I think I do prefer the front of the blue train for this year. And uh, I'm gonna go try that out right now and see how it compares to the back. I have Goliathan. Goliathan over Georgia. Oh no. Because, oh. um... This is dumb. We just did front row of Red Train, and I personally thought it was better than the back row of Red Train, but it still wasn't as good as I remembered. So, if anything, I feel like that tells me that Blue Train is better for this year. Even back of Blue, I thought it was better than front of Red. And you got it going right over here. Yeah. It was Yep, Blue Train's a better train for this year. Uh, we definitely kept those switched on that. And, uh, what was your thoughts on a back row of Red Train? Still good, but wasn't like, anywhere near the Blue Train. Yeah, like uh, it runs diesel well right there, but uh, even on some of the hills, it wasn't delivering. Whereas on the Blue Train, every single one of those hills was semi flying. So I don't know what the deal is, but yeah, Blue Train's worth that for this year. So now we're gonna go check out Log Flume and actually try and find where the heck Ellis is. I don't know if he's here yet or not. And uh, if now we're just gonna ride Log Flume anyway, because it's really hot. I was like supposed to be up like in the 90s, I think, for the high temperature today. So we're gonna try Log Flume and see how that one is and maybe cool off a little bit. The way for the Log Flume on the Platinum Flash Pass is a little over three minutes. So I think what we're gonna do now is ride Justice League, because we saw that the Flash Pass website said it's back open now. So. We're gonna go check that out and see if that's the case. And if that is, we'll ride it maybe once or twice and then uh, check back here. As we were coming to Justice League, what can we ran into? Yeah, I'm back. Yeah, he's back. So, obviously, since the last time you and I met, you were at Hollywood Nights. Give a brief rundown. How was the event? It was literally hands down. It was only my first time there, but it was the best theme park event I have ever been to in my entire life, or not. I absolutely agree with you on that. Like. Mm -hmm. I'm right, gonna show you on my shirt real quick. Yep, this is papers. the front, and oh, that's what it is. Oh my gosh, that is a genius shirt, actually. I yeah. like it. Thank you very much. Class of 2023, pretty cool. Yeah. And that's actually funny. I'm like, wait, is that just a close-up shirt you have with the uh, T-Birds in the front? Let me take a look at that. But yeah, that is hilarious. That actually might be the same Thunderbird from the logo, actually. Yeah. So do you have a favorite part of the whole event? Yeah, cause. Uh, throughout the text that I told you a couple weeks ago about it, my favorite part was not only that they brought speakers up at the voyage, oh. but they played that Peaches from the Mario movie song. Yeah, up that there. wasn't there. So I, know I was on dying. My, I was laughing. So yeah, that hard. sounds like a madhouse over there. Voyage. Yeah, it was a good time. I bet it was. You said you did get to go to the Voyage Spaghetti Bowl. How was that? It was. It was like the best. One of the best experiences I've had there. I believe it. I mean. How often do you get to go back there? I mean, like, never, besides when you're actually riding it. Like, literally only once a year at this point, because that's the only time they do it, I guess. Right, I mean, in previous years, they had not really gone back to the Spaghetti Bowl, so I mean, I was lucky to go back there uh, last year for myself. But, uh, yeah, and uh, Tremble's Voyage didn't live up to the hype. Yes, it did. Nice. I, I, I forgot to count on Friday, but on Saturday, I rode Tremble's Voyage nine times. Nice. Yep, Friday was definitely less packed than uh, that Saturday was, I think it was, but yeah, that was overall cool. And uh, Water Park ERT, you also did that. How was that? Wasn't that cool? What was the question? Water Park ERT? Yes, that was amazing too. I did the water coasters as well. I did Mammoth twice and Wildebeest once. And then they served some good food like wings, chicken and fries. And nice. then I got a picture with the mascot. Oh, nice. Oh, no. Yes. <laughs> yep. Yeah, it sounds like you had a good time there. And uh, hopefully I could have been there, but well, we all know what happened. The freaking ticketing system was a scam, so it didn't work. 
Hopefully we both get, we all three get to go next year. Right. And someone actually told me a hack while waiting at Hollywood World for Road Drop last week. Someone told me a hack is how to get it. They said to open up multiple different tabs across multiple browsers and then keep trying to purchase tickets for it. And that way one of them should go through. So we'll have to try that for next time. That way we can all three go to Hollywood Ask because I need to ride Trimble's Voyage again. And uh, I especially want to get back on Raven since that was close. So anyway, we're going to hope we get over there another time. But, yeah, Ellis, what'd you get on Justice League just now? So, for my first ride right before I ran into y'all, I maxed it, but then the second time that we just got off of, I got 995. Yeah, that was so close. And Ryan, what'd you get? What happened to me? Yeah. It wouldn't work on the left side of the screen. Yeah, that happens, but hey, we're gonna try this again, see if we max it. Now that ride was amazing. Wow. Oh my gosh, we actually got a freaking triple max. What did you guys think of that? That was awesome. Like, first time we almost did it together. Yep. I maxed it uh, early fourth screen. Ryan got it uh, towards the end of the fourth. End of the fourth screen. And then Ellis, you got it fifth screen. Yeah, I got it on the fifth screen. Awesome. Yeah. And uh, that's even with uh, me struggling in the first screen because Ellis actually blocked my view by accident, which I mean, I can't. We really complain about that, but I mean, we still got it. So, also, that ending was a bit scuffed. What happened with that ending, Ellis? Huh? What happened with that ending we had? Uh, like on the fifth ending, I was just trying to push as fast as I can. And I think when I got those green letters at the top, that's when I got it. Yeah, I was referring to uh, that results screen. Oh, uh, the results screen was all screwed up. Yeah, we, uh, yeah, the results screen was... I don't know why it glitched like that. I've never seen okay, that happen happened. before. It might have not registered our score. It, we were supposed to have like 2.7 million at least. It said the top the combined score of the people is 613,000. Wow. Not even close. They just shot our picture. I don't know what happened there. Yeah. But anyway, we're going to try this one again. Ellis and Ryan went to go ride Boss. And so what I'm going to do is uh, make my way back up towards Screaming Eagle and check that line out. Maybe see if that line isn't bad. And if it's not, I'll probably get a ride on it because uh, Ellis as in written Scream Eagle with me before and uh, we gotta try that so we're gonna go up there and see if that line is short and if it is we'll get a ride. you want to hit eagle early because on one train this is not a fun line to wait in especially if it's long so yeah the dispatch on this ride often aren't the quickest either so we got that one going right now which i imagine that'd be like 45 minutes to an hour because they're on one train so yeah if you haven't seen my video as to why i think you should hit this ride early this is one of them right here this line is long and uh yeah good thing i did it early this morning
lot of Ryan and Ellis coming on boss. You guys might have noticed it. They were coming around the last turn. And uh, what did you guys think of boss? Did you have fun with it? That was a yes. lot of fun. Yes, we did. It was a lot of fun, but someone passed out on that ride. Yeah. Not on the ride, but out, like in the in queue. Line for it. So we had to wait a little while before we got on. Yeah, I mean, that's terrifying. Isn't it? They're okay, though, correct? Yeah. Are they okay? Okay, yeah, that's good. good. That's all that matters. Good, good, good. That's uh, what I like to hear. And uh, Freeze sounds like it's still on two trains, so then we're gonna go check that out. And uh, I might as well ride a third time because if they got two trains going, why not? So well, let's head over there and maybe we'll do just like in Lockham while we're in the area. Got another quick Max in there, and I was gonna ride Freeze, but I found another enthusiast. I was gonna try and max it out for him, so he did a single rider, but he had to get on before me, so never got to max out for him, which that's all right. Maybe next time. But at least I still got it. So now I'm actually gonna ride Freeze again because uh, I was the original game plan for a brand new event enthusiast. Arms out, head back, and hold on. Ryan totally lost that time. Your whole body pretty much got soaked. Yep. Uh, my arm was ripping after that. Yeah, and uh, Alice, you said you got a little bit of, like, a little wet on your yeah, leg. Like a little bit on my shorts, but I was more on my, the bottom of my shirt and a little bit on my arm. Yeah, for me, it was just, uh, just my right leg and a little bit of my right arm. So I definitely took the least of it. Ryan got destroyed that time. So for you, my brother, and on this end of, he gets more wet than that than he loses. But as of now, Ryan, you're on the hot seat for losing this one today. So yeah. we'll have to wait and see what happens with my brother. Ryan and Ellis went to go ride American Thunder. I personally don't feel the need to ride American Thunder again today because I've already run it twice. So I'm gonna get some shots of freeze from the exit line here while waiting for them to get off of American Thunder. Then we'll go do something different. did Batman back row. We literally walked straight onto it with the flash pass. That was not the most comfortable ride and it wasn't in the way you might be expecting. The intensity on this ride pulled a waist muscle and so I was in pain the rest of the ride because of it. So that was definitely not a comfortable ride for sure. I think my back row ride on Wednesday was much better than that. had technical difficulties. There's a uh, train stuck on the brakes for out there. So, uh, yeah, this ride's been down for, I don't know, 10 or so minutes, maybe? Yeah, it's, 
probably not be up for a while if I had to guess, but who knows? Hopefully soon. They're not gonna have to send them. That didn't work out. They were evacuating over at the boss, and so yeah, they're probably gonna be down for a little while if I had to guess. So that's really annoying that this that this thing is closed because I ordered it twice this morning and I've not been on it since. So I would like to get another ride on it, but I don't know if I'll be able to get it up in time for the last hour marathon. So we're gonna go do something different for now. Maybe check back up later, but that would be unfortunate if we don't get to ride it. But oh well. At least I got some awesome rides on it today, and then uh, I got four on Wednesday, so that was pretty cool. Since Boss is closed, which actually it says over there, I think that's probably not, but I just saw an entry on Boss go back into the station. Since that's not open right now, I'm gonna ride Mr. Freeze, I think, twice more, I think. Then maybe do Just Sleep one more time, then go to Boss if it's open, and then maybe come ride Just Sleep for us tonight. So let's do Freeze a few more times and then work off that plan. It blows my mind how so many people go in the line for side B, and that's a little longer than the line. That side A is always a freaking walk on. It makes literally no sense. Like, look at this. That's a little line for side A. Nothing at all whatsoever. And then there's that for side B. Like, seriously, why do more people not take this way? It's so much simpler for them. They'll be on multiple times on this side for the right side B once. Don't know how people always miss this. Arms down. Head back. 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 Oh, okay, okay. Welcome back, guys. That was your ride. Oh, that's the one I got. Again, that was your ride. Also, thank you for having us to be here. Please remember to call us all the long distance from the inside. If you enjoy the rest of your evening, ask us for us. Yeah, that's the one I got. That last ride we had on Freeze was Mr. Freeze and Mr. Freeze. Mr. Freeze and Mr. Freeze. Got what was pretty close to a rollback, I think, because it took the inverted top hat going backwards way slower than usual. And I noticed we didn't go as high as like I'm like, yo, we might valley this time. And it was just kind of terrifying because hang time was going forwards and backwards leading inverted top it was just nuts. Man, that was just a wild ride. What'd you guys think of that near experience? That was great. It was amazing. Yeah, what'd you think of that near rollback we had? Or what yeah. had it been? That was kind of uh, insane, man. Yeah, I was like, <laughs> I was terrified. I'm like, golly, when we went that slow. So yeah. Anyway, I was gonna ride just sleep one more time, and then go up to Boss, and then come back here for the rest of the night. I'm killing it with the second screen maxes today. And Brian, which screen do you have to Second to last? Uh, crates. It's the fourth. Second to last. Yeah, and Allison unfortunately didn't quite get it. I didn't quite get it. I was only at 970, but I'll get it next time. Yeah, I mean, for the record, I think that the shot up screen, my gosh, it's way too loud again. Was that like your second time missing today? Huh? Was that only your second time missing today? Oh, uh, yeah, I believe so. And fact, you still got 970000 at least for both of them is amazing. So, yeah, that's overall, I mean, I'd still consider that a win. I mean, well, I mean, obviously not in the best way, but you guys yeah. know what I mean, I guess. And I missed it twice, but we all know what happened the first well, time. Well, yeah, we got Apex, so it didn't count. It wasn't even a complete ride, so I maxed it at the tail end, but I still can't believe I got it that close. So, I'm going to go ride Boss now. I think, where are you guys going? Boss? Eagle? Boss. Going to Boss? You. All right. And then the, they're gonna go check Eagle. As yeah. a boss, I'm gonna start marathon in Justice League till closing. Goodness, this ride hates us today. It broke down a second time. Like the brakes over there, you guys hear that hissing? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, that's the reason why I broke the. Oh dang. Oh well, this ride just isn't for us today, I guess. Bro, what the heck is this? I've never seen Supergirl like this. That is weird. Have you ever seen that, Ryan? That is bizarre. What the heck? I haven't seen that either. Wow, this ride is having issues too. Wow. It's funny because. I heard it go down for technical difficulties earlier today as well when Boss broke down. It's like, gee, pretty much if Boss breaks down, Supergirl breaks down. Like, wow. what are the odds of this? Oh man, that's a sight you don't see every day, ladies and gentlemen. Ryan and Oz are gonna go check Eagle now. And so I guess I'll start my marathon an hour and a half tonight, I guess I'll say. I'm starting like half an hour early, so let's see how many more we can get. We're trying something ridiculous. Me, my brother Scott, Ryan, and Elsa all going for a quad max. We just tried it, we didn't quite get it. I was the only one that maxed it. We're actually gonna try mainline this time, see if we can all four get in the same car and actually do this. So let's see if we can get it before the night's over. Not sure if that'll be the case, but it's worth a shot. We got the quad max twice in a row. What'd you guys think of that? That was the best milestone we ever hit, man. That was amazing. Like we literally made history right there. Holy mackerel. I think that's the first time it's ever been done. Yeah, that was just absolutely absurd. 
last two we were the only ones in the car. We actually nailed it. That was just, oh man, such a good hit, man. Talk about an absolutely outstanding day here at Six Black Ten Lewis. My final ride count was 17 on Justice League. Uh, let me think. Four on Mr. Freeze, two on American Thunder, two on Boss, one on Batman, Log Poop, and Screaming Eagle. Ellis, what did you get on today? Uh, I, I think I, I think I might have lost count for uh, most of the rides, but I, I definitely did Log Plume, American Thunder, Mr. Freeze, Boss, Pandemonium, Screaming Eagle, Batman, and many times on Justice League. Yep. And I maxed it seven times. That's pretty good. Yeah. Awesome. Yep. And uh, Ryan, what'd you get on today? Six rides on Freeze, 15 on Justice League, one on Eagle, three on Boss, one on Log Flume, one on Batman. And you guys said you did three, Pandemonium? Three on American Thunder, oh, yeah, that's one on right. Pandemonium. Yeah, that's right. Oh yeah, that was cool. And uh, bro, what'd you do today? Uh, if you don't remember right now. Like Catwoman, one on Screagle, like uh, four or five on Boss, probably like ten-ish American Thunder. And ten like, on AT? Wow, that's a lot. Nine on Justice League. That's overall, bro. So you didn't freeze today? Oh yeah, that's right, you did Red Freeze. So man, that was just an awesome, and I did awesome day. Batman. Oh yeah, we did Batman too. So uh, highlight of the day. I think we all know what it is. The quad max. Oh, yeah. Double quad, quad max, I guess you could say. Also, one thing I forgot to mention, we were making the screens lag like crazy. <laughs> like the third screen especially was all glitched. It was so laggy. We were shooting like the same area at the same time and like the ride wasn't able to handle that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I thought we were like make the screen freeze or something. It was so funny. Yeah. Oh man, that was just hilarious. And uh, also before our first the quad max, you guys were going, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> that was funny. I was in the back, you guys were the whole, the whole car was shaking. It was, we I'm like, y'all are going to break it. We were shaking oh. the whole car. That yeah, really it was funny. just <laughs> crazy. Yeah. I was like, you guys didn't have focus here. Ultra are going to screw up. And oh my gosh, that was just an outstanding day. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Nothing short of amazing. And before I click off this video, please be sure to leave a like if you haven't done so already. And be sure to comment what you enjoyed about this video. And be sure to share it with someone else you may know. If you're new to this channel, like we saw, please consider subscribing for more content like this. My goal is to hit 500 subscribers by the end of summer, so I appreciate you subscribing and turn the bell so you can notify it every time I upload a new video. I also have an Instagram account for the pictures I take whenever I visit a park, so be sure to check me out there as well. The link is in the description. As for my next vlog, um, unless I'm coming back here one more time, yeah, yeah. I will probably be going to uh, Kennywood for my next vlog. Yeah. If I don't come to Six Flags, my next vlog will be from Kennywood, so stay tuned for that. And until then, I'll see you later.